Good morning, good morning. Thanks for joining me, public holiday Monday. We might have a few things to work off. Let's start marching our feet, lifting up tall, shoulders down and back, just starting to swing in our arms, marching our legs. Deep breath. I've got a bit of everything today, a bit of a mashup, so a bit of cardio, a bit of weight strength training, a bit of core, with fusing a little bit of Pilates in there too. Let's start to position feet just outside the hips, squat to calf raise. So that's squat, calf raise, lift the heels, come up on the toes, squeezing up through the legs and into the glutes. We're just in the warm up phase. Take it slow and controlled, working on your depth as you get warmer and warmer. Nice work. Squat, calf raise up on tippy toes. Start to activate the core, switch it all on. Legs out even wider, hands out. We're going to touch our opposite foot. Bend over, touch our opposite foot. Nice wide legs. Getting that fold over. Breathing into our body. Really crunch over. Tap the opposite foot. Reach down as far as you can. Nice work. Down on your mat. In a plank position, up on hands, up on toes. You're going to step one foot forward, a big lunge forward. And same hand as the foot that's forward, rotates round, same side. Rotate around to the side of that bent knee. Keep lunging forward and place that hand back down. Shoot the foot back, other foot, big lunge forward. And we're gonna rotate around to the other side. Hold there a moment, keep rotating and looking up at the roof. Hand down, push it back, other side, rotate round. Can your head, your neck, your chin turn and look up at the roof? And down, shoot it back, other foot, big step forward, get that lunge drop and rotate with the hand to the same side as the bent knee that's forward. And shoot it back. Downward dog, butt in the air. Just have a little stretch there. Start to walk the dog, heels down. Walk the dog, heels down. And crawl those hands back towards you. Lift up tall. Let's start to jog on the spot. Starting to get our knees up a little higher. Jog, jog, jog. Arms forward and back. Forward and back. That's it. Alternate the ways that you cross them over. One up, one down. Swap it over. That's it. Just keep moving on the spot, marching or a little jog. Now let's reach those hands up. Down, up, down. Keep your jog on. Up, down, up, down. Big deep breath. Come on, let's get nice and warm. Up, down. And again, out the front. Crossover, open. Crossover, open. Stretch that chest. Keep jogging or marching, whatever you do. Reach on up, 
up, down, up, down. Big deep breath, breathe into your body, fuel it with the oxygen it needs. Nice work, one foot back. So we've got a little bit of a lunge and then we kick that foot through. Lunge, kick through, lunge, kick through. I'll show you side on, lunge, kick through. Now if you can't quite kick through, you can raise the knee up. So your choice, knee or the big kick through. To give it a little bit more, can you reach your opposite hand over toward the toes? We lunge down, get the power, pull it up off the floor into a big kick up. Kick up and reach. Use that breath, squeeze that core on tight, glutes are firing. Reach through. Just a few more. Now that same foot is back, stay on that side. We're going to lunge down as you lift up, lean forward, arabesque. Lunge, lift forward, arabesque. Showing your side on, lunge, lift forward, arabesque. So fly your arms out to the side, pull your body weight leaning forward, You've got to balance and switch on those stabilizers here. Focus on a point in front of you. Take it slow. Really lengthen that leg out the back. Fly and squeeze. Deep breath. A few more. Drop down in the lunge. Lift and squeeze. Lengthen that leg out the back. Nice work. Position those feet just outside the hips. Squat jump, front kick. Squat jump, other side. Squat jump, front kick. Or squat and calf raise, then your front kick. Squat jump, front kick. Squat jump, Front kick, squat jump. Can you lift off? Come on, squat jump. Front kick, give it some power, give it some oomph. Lean back, come on, power in those legs. The quads can handle it. Make them burn, come on. Squat jump, big front kick, lean back. Squat jump, front kick. Remember the lower option, raise up on the tippy toes, then do your kick. Nice work. Feet wide, drop low, stutter. Stutter the feet with me, make everything jiggle. Deep breath, deep breath. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Fast feet, fast feet. Drop halfway, hold. Hold there with me. Breathe into your body. Hold it down. And fast feet. Go, 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 go. Bring them in a bit narrower. Narrow little stutter feet. Go, go, go. Keep the feet narrow. Drop hold. Narrow squat hold. Breathe. Hold it there. Stick the butt back. Hinge everything back. Sit low, squeeze on the tummy. Quick stutter. Normal stance, normal squat stance. Quick stutter. Go, go, go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Drop hold. Stay there with me. Feel the body, breathe into it. Come on, keep holding. And rise up, Woo, shake it off. All right, we're drawing an X on the floor together. Making an X, so feet together. 
as we jump back, we're doing the back part of our X. Jump back, jump in. Now forward, jump out, jump in. Jump out, jump in. Make an X on the floor, nice wide legs. Come into the center and crisscross your X. Land low. Come on, power in those legs. Just a few more. Lower option, step back, squat, step in, step forward, squat, step in. Come on, a few more, power those legs through. Make the big X. X forward, in narrow, X back. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it off, shake it off. Second leg back behind us. We're on to the other side. Shoulders down and back. Lunge, kick through. Lunge, kick through. Lunge, kick through. Really pull it up off the floor. Come on, round two of the other side. We know what's coming. We can put a bit more oomph in. Oh, those legs are talking to us. Use your breath. On the effort, exhale. Come on, kick it through. Lower option, knee raise or tap in. Always options. Time for our arabesque. Set the foot back, hands out. We're gonna lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Hands into the center, lift out to the side. Lunge, lift. Fly that leg out the back, toes pointing down, heel to the roof. Keep your balance, I'm getting a bit wobbly. It's always harder on one side. Drop lunge, lift. Squeeze that glute. Inner, outer thighs are working hard. And that leg that's supporting. Use that breath. Hold it there, shake it off. All right, our squat jump. This time, side kick. Squat jump, side kick. Each side with a little squat jump in between. Squat, jump it up, side kick, or squat, lift up on the tippy toes, then a side kick. The side kick doesn't have to come up very high. Do what you can here. If you can jump it, put in the effort. That's it. Squat, jump, lift, side kick. Squat, jump, land, side kick. Squat, jump. Land, side kick. Come on, power those legs up. A few more, a few more. One more each side. Nice work. Feet in narrow. Let's stutter. Quick, quick, quick. Fast feet, fast feet. Breathe into your body. We're getting puffed now. Halfway, hold, squat hold, hold it there. Heart's beating, come on up, legs wide, stutter. Stutter, stutter, stutter. On the tippy toes, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Stick that booty back. Down, hold, hold it there. Breathe, lift that chest up, don't hunch over. Lift up tall, look at me. Up we come, medium stance. Stutter, 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 stutter. Woo, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep that heart rate up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Little longer, little longer. Can you get a bit quicker? Drop hold. 
Come on. Can we get a bit lower together? Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. Breathe. Lift the chest. Don't creep up. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it off. Grab a sip of water if you'd like. Shake it off. Nice work. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to stand over to one side of our mat. We've got a little lateral shuffle. Take a deep breath. Okay, over we go. One, two, three, four, hand down. One, two, three, four, hand down. Shuffle it across the space that you have in your room. You might be doing a little tiny tippy toe shuffle or you might have more room to work with. Do what you can. Come on. One, two, three, hand down. One, two, three, hand down. Get across the room, at least the length of your mat, side to side, bend right over. Come on, we need this heart cardio blaster. We're gonna be back in the gym in one week's time. Come on, come on. One, two, three, hand down. One, two, three, hand down. And hold it there, well done. Just gonna bring my mat forward. We're gonna come on down over to one side of your mat. Over to one side with me. Come up in a plank position on hands and toes. We're gonna sidestep across. Sidestep across our mat. Once we reach the end, Back the other way. Plank, side walking across the mat or the space that you have. Come on. Hand and foot out together. Hand and foot out together. Hand and foot out together. You can drop to your knees here. Still be holding up your tummy tight for a lower option off the knees. Couple more, come on. Side stepping. Back, back, back. One more lap. Over we go and back. Oh, keep it on, keep it on. Nice work. Stand it up slowly. Deep breath. Racing arms, high knees. Let's go. My knees up, 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 or a march. Lower option here, still swinging the arms. Higher option, lift up. Jog on those tippy toes. Knees up, knees up. Up, up, up. Come on, power through it. Use the arms. Pull belly button into spine. Focus on that core. The core helps you in every single exercise. It's your powerhouse. Up, up, up. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Onto your mat. Down we come. You can be on hands or on forearms, elbows. You can be on knees or toes. So let's lift up in our high plank. And we're going to slowly rock our body forward on our tippy toes. As we rock back, we lower knees and lift. Ready to go again. Forward, back, drop knees, lift up. Forward, back, drop knees and up. Make sure those wrists are directly under the shoulders. You can always go to the forearms, rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up. Rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up. Choose your option. This is a few little Pilates moves here. Rock forward, rock back, knees down, 
knees up, rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up, rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up, rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up, one more, rock forward, rock back, knees down, knees up, have a little stretch back. Oh, that feels good. Stretch it back, rest your head down. Take a deep breath. Slowly rise to your feet, don't rush it. Okay, position those feet, hip distance apart. We've got a bit of balance and stabilization here. We lift up on the tippy toes. We've got a balance here. In our calf raise. And just to add a bit more, let's circle our arms. Staying high in our calf raise. Squeezing our glutes, our hamstrings, our calves, right up the back of our legs. Pull that belly button in tight. Focus on a point. Don't take your eyes off that dot on the floor. Circle over. Oh, can you squeeze up a little higher? Can you stop the arms and reverse them back the other way? Reverse. Oh, stay up tall. Lift those heels, don't drop them down. Big calf raise. Just a few more circles. Rotate it back. Wobble, wobble. One more with me. Oh, rest those heels down. Shake it out. All right. Reposition. Little squat jump. Hands out. Twist. Little squat jump. Sit low in this. Then twist to the other side. Little squat jump. Twist. Squat jump. Twist. Squat jump. Twist, squat jump. Notice I don't come up. My butt stays back. Hinge those hips back. It's just a low little jump squat or a jump raise. Lower option. And clasp those hands together. Twist to one side. Back to center. Lower option here. Otherwise, you've got the jump squat. Twist, jump squat, twist. Woo, a lot of leg and core strengthening in this first part of the workout. Come on, get through it. Come on, lift. Woo. Four, three, two more, one each way. Two, one, whoo, shake off, deep breath. Take one foot back behind, hands up overhead, hand over hand, up overhead. As we kick that leg through, we're gonna crunch and collapse the upper body down to get into our core. So we've got a little bit of standing abdominals here. We just tap the toe back behind and then we swing it through. If you would prefer not to kick, you can just crunch up the knee. And we're trying to have that fold over effect of crunching the tummy. So really crunch it over, fold the chest over. Use your breath, exhale. the way. Crunch it. You must have that upper body folding over to get the effect. Come on. Kick it through and crunch. Fold over crunch. Keep those hands together overhead. Crunch. Side on. Crunch. See the fold over, crunch. 
crunch. We don't want to stay up tall. We want to fold over. Crunch. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Other foot back behind. Stack over the hands the other way. And crunch. Crunch. Fold over. Can you straighten that leg out the front? Can you touch the hands down onto the leg somewhere? Or can you knee raise and still do the crunch fold over? Lower option here. Come on, pull that foot up off the floor. As you tap down, it all pulls straight back up. Big crunch, crunch, crunch. Fold over, crunch. Keep it swinging through. Crunch, crunch. Just a few more, keep swinging that leg through. Stay strong, keep the fold over, the collapse down. Crunch, crunch. Oh, we're working hard. This is all standing abs work. Four, three, two, one. Woo, well done. Down onto your mat with me. So bend those knees up. Hands can, it's, it's your personal preference. So hands can face back, the fingers facing back, or they can face outwards to the side. So we're gonna lift our butt and kick up, reach for the opposite toe. Opposite hand, opposite toe. It takes a little bit to get used to this movement. It's a bit awkward at first. Transferring your body weight side to side lifting that hand and rotating. So let's try and get a little bit quicker. Do what you can. You can always just tap the knee. You can tap the knee, tap the knee. Lower option or the kick up and reach. Kick up and reach. Use your breath. Keep that butt off, off the mat. Just a few more. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Have a sip of water. Deep breath, I'll just grab my water. Well done, big high five. Okay, now we've got, we're going down on the mat, but we're doing a lot more stabilizing Pilates core work. We've, we're done with most of our cardio. Now we'll move on to our Pilates side of things. So come on down. So this is a tough one. I want you to try at least a couple. We're coming up on a high plank and Make sure those wrists are directly under the shoulders. Line them up, have a look at them now. Because we peel back in a downward dog and we take one arm, wrap it around our waist. And as we come forward, slow and controlled, we raise that arm out to the side. Push it back into downward dog, wrap the hand around the waist, slowly peel forward. Hand out to the side. Come back around the waist, heels pointing down. Slowly rock forward. Got to stabilize on that one arm. Slowly back. Just doing one more on this side. I know it's tough. Lean it forward. 
raise it out and back well done drop down shake off let's do that on the other side it's just a few little reps with me so high plank elbows wrists all in line under the shoulders take your feet out a bit wider as you come back in the downward dog wrap the other hand around the waist as you peel forward hand directly out to the side rock it back slow hold the downward dog rock it forward hand out to the side rock it back oh it's tough just take it slow and do what you can raise it out just one more forward raise it out hold and down well done roll out those wrists that is a tough one and we will work through it getting a few more reps out next time all right a four point position knees under hips wrist under shoulder we're going to take one foot back behind and then rotate it towards me so the hip actually turns so see what i did there foot back and then turn it so the foot is facing forward the hip has opened up hands down nice and narrow what we're going to do is lift that foot up off the ground a tricep dip and then the leg swings round to the side of us and back a tricep dip and swing the leg forward so tricep push up elbows in tight push yourself back with that leg lengthening then the leg swings out to the side and back the whole time the leg doesn't touch down Tricep push up, narrow elbows, swing the leg out to the side. Tricep push up, leg to the side. Don't let it drop down, squeeze into your butt. It'll be feeling it right about now. Tricep dip, Whoo, leg swing to the side. Tricep and leg. Tricep lengthen that leg point through the toes just a few more tricep push up swing the leg to the side two more with me tricep push up leg to the side one more tricep push up leg to the side well done let's lengthen our other leg back still narrow hands lengthen the other leg back and turn the hip towards me, pointing the toes forward. Nice, narrow hands. Rock your body weight forward, lift up that back leg, lengthening it out straight. So we have our tricep push up, nose to the mat, leg out to the side of us. Tricep push up, leg swings to the side. Activate that glute right from now oh working inner outer thighs the whole glute tricep push up take it in your own time you can go super slow or you can pick up the pace a bit tricep push up leg swings to the side tricep push up leg swing to the side tricep push up leg swing tricep push up leg swing tricep push up leg swing four three more three more keep that leg up don't let it drop two one well done rest back have a little stretch back deep breath for me okay our four point position again knees and hands down take that first leg lengthen back 
what we're going to do is come down on our opposite forearm to the leg that's out. So we drop down, lift and lower. Lift and lower. I'll show you front on as well. Lengthen that leg at the back. So my opposite hand is this one to the leg. I come down, back up, down, back up. As I come down, my leg lifts higher and higher. I'm pointing my toes down to the floor and really squeezing and lengthening that leg. That's the way. Drop the elbow and forearm down, back up. Down, back up. Down, back up. Down, back up. Squeeze and lengthen. Four, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna turn directly onto our side with that same leg out to the side. Our hand is planted down for support underneath us. Our wrist under our shoulder, hand behind our head. We're going to bend the knee up at a 90 degree angle, hand behind head. We're gonna lift, lower, crunch in and back. Lift the knee up, down, crunch in, back. Lift, lower, crunch, back. It's only a small movement. We won't get much range out of it, but we will feel it in no time. So remember the knee lifts, lowers, crunches in and out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift up, lift down, pull it in and out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Oh, shake it off. Well done. We are back to that second side, four point position. Lengthen the second leg back. Give that first one a rest. So lift it up. Remember our opposite forearm comes down, pushes us back up, down, up, down, up. How high can you lengthen that leg and squeeze through the glute? Remember, it's the opposite forearm coming down. Dip it down, up. As you're coming down, that leg's coming up, remember. Stay strong with it. You're also working through the chest here while you're holding those hands out. Come on, lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Do not touch that leg down. I know it's screaming at you. Four to go. Four, three, two, one, well done. From here, directly turn onto your side. That hand, that wrist is under shoulder. Set it up, sort of in your side plank. Let your knee is down for support. Hand behind head. We're going to bend that knee up at a right 90 degree angle. And remember, we lift the knee, lower the knee, crunch it in and out. Lift, lower, crunch and out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Lift, lower, crunch, out. We're almost there, come on. Fire those glutes one last time. Lift, lower, crunch, out. Knee up, knee down, knee in, knee out. Up, down, in, out. Up, down, in, out. Up, down, four to go. That's four. Come on, three, two more, one more. Oh, straight down on your stomach. Diving straight into the pool, arms out, legs up, arms up, alternating swimmer. Come on, we gotta swim to the end of the pool to get our rest. Come on, go, go, go. 
squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Seconds to go, come on. Lift up that chest, swim to the end. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Stretch it all the way back in a child's pose. Rest that head down for a moment. Well deserved stretch. Stretch it through. Deep breaths. Crawl your hands back. Push your weight back into your feet. Slowly rise. Just take it slow. Shake out those legs and bring over your medium set of dumbbells. Let's do a little bit of strengthening. All right, bring over those dumbbells. Weights racked at the shoulders. Now, we're gonna take things slow. We sped them up in the beginning of our workout. Now it's time to take things slow and isolate into those muscles. So rack the weights at the shoulders. A slow squat for five counts with me going down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rise up to the top, slow down. Five, four, three, two, one. Pop to the top. Really squeeze those legs up to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. And up. How low can you get? Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Squeeze the glute at the top. Not that it hasn't been squeezed enough. Pop up. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one, pop up. Are your knees tracking over your toes? You're about hip distance apart. Five, four, three, two, one, pop up. Five, four, three, two, one, pop up. One more. Five, four, three, two, one. One, pop up. Well done, weights down. We've got a bent over row next. So weights on the thighs, hinge forward. You're going to quickly row back, release it down slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick row back, squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick row back, five, four, three, two, one. All the way back to the knees. Slow release down. Are you holding your tummy in tight? Are those hips hinged back? Do you have a nice long lean back? Quick up. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick up. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick up. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't rush that down phase. That's where all the magic happens. Two, one, quick up. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up with me. Weights on the thighs. Now you can choose to do both legs on the ground or join me for a single deadlift. So we slowly make our way down. We lift that back leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, touch the toe down in between. Or you can just do normal deadlift. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the top. You choose if you're doing single leg or both legs down. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Control it, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Those stabilizers are kicking in again. Five, four, three, two, one. One more here. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Have a little shake off. Set that other foot behind. Keep on going if you've got the both feet down. Weights out in front. Let's go hinge forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you get those weights a touch lower than the knees? Five, four, three, two, one. We're heading for our shins. Tap the toe in between. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. One more, nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Well done. Let's rack those weights again. We're going for a squat. As we come up, we rotate to one side and press back down to center. Squat and press. Squat, press and rotate. Squat, press, rotate. Squat, press and rotate. Squat, press and rotate. Squat, press, rotate. Really pivot and turn. Lift up that heel. You're on the toe and you turn. Down, up, turn. Down, up, turn. Down, up, turn. Down, up, turn. Four more. Four. Three. Turn it through. Two. Pivot round. One more. Woo, well done. Okay. Next up. I'm going for a little, little bit lighter. Side raise to rotation. So, weights together at the belly button. Side raise, rotate, center and down. Side raise, rotate, center, down. Just up to that shoulder height. That's the way, rotate open. Side raise. Rotate, center, down. Great shoulder and chest work. <sighs> Breathe through it. Do not hold your breath. <sighs> Use your breath to your advantage to power those muscles. Side raise, lift. Rotate, center, and down. Lift, rotate. Center, down. Lift, rotate, center, down. One more. Lift, rotate, center, down. Nice work. Position those feet out wide. Knees and toes tracking out. Sumo squat. We're going to hold down there. Weights plunging down between. And upright row. Upright row. We don't come up in between. We're sitting in that squat the whole time. Lift, press down. Lift, press down. Up to the chest, press down. Elbows come up higher than our dumbbells. That's it, we're sort of at that chest level, under the chin. And are you finding you're creeping your way up? Sink down a bit lower. Hold that squat down there. Track the knees outwards. Those inner and outer thighs are still working hard. Upright row, press down. Upright row, press down. 
four, sink down, three, belly's in, two, one, well done. Oh, wiggle those feet in, shake them off. Deep breath. Now we're gonna turn our weights over so wrists are facing forward. We're going to bend forward and do a reverse fly. Sorry, reverse row. So pull it straight back. The weights touch near your ribs. You press back. As you stand up, you curl. So we go down, row back, out, curl up. Down, row and squeeze, back. Curl up to stand up. Back to the legs, down, row, out, curl. Down, row and squeeze, out, curl up. Back to the legs. Down, row, squeeze, back, stand up and curl. Back to the legs before you go again. Down, row, out, stand up and curl. Back to the legs, down, row, back to the legs, curl. Down, row and squeeze. Oh, really lift through the shoulders, the upper back. Down, row, out, curl it up. Back to the legs. Down, row, squeeze, out, and up. Down, row, out, up. Stand it up, well done. Down to our mat, still with our dumbbells handy. So down to your mat. Knees bent, grab your weights. We're gonna lie back. We're going to raise our hips up so they stay up the whole time. And we're going to chest press, slowly bring it down. Big push to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch the elbows down, press to the top. Five, Four, three, two, one. What are those hips doing? Squeezing up super high. Two, one. Chest press. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you lift your toes and be up on your heels? Five, four, three, two, one. Chest press. Push it out from that chest. Press, five, four, three, two, one. Press, five, four, three, two, one. Press, five, four, three, two. Those hips are sagging, I know. Lift them up. Five, four, three, two, one more. Press, five, four, three, two, one, lower those hips and take one weight down. We have one weight only in our hand and we hold it either side. So, weight up above our chest. We're gonna do a skull crusher or a tricep extension. Our elbows are in tight facing each other. We skull crush or tricep extend down to the forehead, back up. As we come up, we want to sit up, keep raising that weight up, then do a tricep extension overhead, then slowly roll down. Skull crusher to a sit up, slow, 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 to a tricep extension overhead, to a slow roll down to a skull crusher, to a slow sit up, 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 to a tricep extension, back down. Two more of these, so skull crush, sit up, slowly rise, lift that weight, 
tricep extension overhead. Slowly down, control the down phase. We've got one more skull crush. Slowly sit up. Tricep extension. And weight down. Double high five. Well done. Well done. Okay, let's come onto our mat. And let's lie back. Ooh. Lie back. So, extend legs, extend arms. Opposite arm and leg. Raise up and down. Opposite arm and leg. Opposite arm and leg. Keep your head down here for the moment. Opposite arm and leg. So we're just warming into the movement with our opposites. Then we're going to bend our knees up to a 90 degree, arms up to, and we're gonna do opposite arm and leg. And as we do that, we're gonna crunch the upper body up, back down, opposite arm and leg, and back down. Opposite arm and leg lowers, lengthens, holds, then comes back together and we lower down. Opposite arm and leg, lengthen it out, hold it, back in and down. Opposite arm and leg, back in and down. Oh, lower down. This is our last little core crusher. One more each side. Lengthen, hold. One more. Lengthen, hold. Back down, well done. Put the soles of the feet together. Pull inwards towards the groin as much as you can. Hands behind the head. We've got our butterfly crunches. So both arms and legs are crunching up. So head, neck and shoulders coming up and the feet up off the floor. Trying to keep those knees out wide. Lift, crunch. Lower, really crunch it all together in the middle there. Try and keep your elbows back and your knees outwards. Crunch, tap it back down. Crunch, lift, tap it back down. Crunch, lift, keep that chin off the chest, remember. Look at a point on your roof. Lift, crunch, tap down. Hold there for a moment, feel the squeeze. Big butterfly crunch. Use that breath, remember. Inhale, exhale to come up. Two more with me, two more. Lift crunch. One more. Lift crunch. Oh, well done. Roll on over to your your side and sit up with me. Now, you can choose to have the ankles down in the mat or let's try and challenge ourselves. We're not here for very long. Let's try and lift the legs up, hands up, grab your kayak or and row side to side. But really pull through the water for me, pull through the water. If you need to, legs down, still working hard and leaning back. Lower option here, lean it back. Otherwise, come on, let's lift those legs up. Use the breath, come on. Kayaking away, four, three, two, one. Oh, now's our chance to roll over. We've got two final exercises and a nice relaxing stretch. So up in our high plank, hands and toes, so hands directly under the wrists, 
Hold there a moment. You can be on your knees. Holding up. We're going to circle one arm over. Other side. Circle the arm over nice and slow. And try and focus on not twisting through those hips and rotating. We want to keep the hips square to the mat. It's tough, I know. Eight. Seven. Six. Don't twist. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Down on our elbows and forearms. Widen those feet just as wide as the mat. And we're going to twist the hips to one side and to the other. And we twist and turn on our toes. You play around with your feet what distance apart you want to have them. You might want them in nice and narrow. And you're trying to roll those hips side to side. Eight. Seven. Last exercise. Six. Five. Get those side obliques. Four. Three. Two. One. Flop down. Well done. Lengthen out. Rest your head down. Just relax here. Feel that body tingling. Oh, well done. Let's pull back into a cobra stretch where we come up on our hands or you can be up on your forearms. Looking straight ahead, oh, feeling that stretch through the lumbar lower spine. Trying to raise the chest up, looking up at the roof. And release. Pull yourself back, roll onto your butt. Let's stretch it out. One foot in line with the knee. Turn the upper body to face the outstretched leg. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fold forward over that leg and reach as far as you can. You might be able to hold somewhere on the leg, near the ankle or on the foot. Tuck your head down. Keep stretching forward, leaning into it. Deep breath. Stretch out those muscles that have worked very hard for you. Slowly rise the chest up. Now we're going to take one hand under, one hand over, little C's, and lean towards that outstretched leg. So the hand over the top is leaning towards that outstretched leg. Getting right up through the side here. Can you turn your head and neck to look at the roof and rotate a little bit more? And release. Let's take it over to the other side. So foot in line with the knee. Turn the upper body towards the outstretched leg. Deep breath, inhale. Scoop it up and then exhale it, fold it forward. Tuck your chin under, rest your head over. Stretch down that leg as much as you can. You might be up here, you might be down here, you might be further towards the toes. However, you can feel a nice deep stretch today. Keep breathing, <sighs> using your breath to get a little bit deeper. Stretch out the back and release. So hand over the top facing the outstretched leg. Make a little C, C underneath and lean. Lean towards that side and stretch. Stretch out those side obliques or that standing abdominal work. Can you turn your head and eyes to look at the roof. And release. 
both feet together. We must do a butterfly stretch after all those Pilates moves using our inner thighs so much. Inhale, raise the knees up. Exhale, fold the knees down as much as you can and you're trying to pull inwards towards the groin, but sit up tall as well. Raise the knees up again, big inhale. Exhale. Can you get them a touch deeper? Push them down. Pull inwards to the groin. And release. Rolling over onto your knees. Let's lunge one foot forward. Big lunge forward. So our chest is still tall and proud. We're just lunging forward. Ah, feeling good. Stretching out that hip flexor. Keep up tall, looking straight ahead. Now we're going to pull our body weight back and come back on the heel with the toes up and lean over. Trying to drag that heel back towards us and stretching the hamstring and calf right up the back there. That worked very hard, especially in that first cardio section. Doing all those jump squats. And release. Other leg forward. Big lunge forward, tucking the hips under, raising up tall, proud chest. Looking straight ahead. Feeling good. Keep lunging into it a little deeper. Stretch that hip flexor out. Now we'll rock it back. Turn the toes upwards, then lean forward. You can place your hands down if you like. Just lean over that leg, dragging the heel back towards you. Deep breath. And release. Slowly come to your feet. But let's take the feet out wide, both feet facing forward. Let's fold over, hinge our hips back, hands down or you might be just above the floor. However much range you have up the back of those legs. You might like to crawl your hands back further behind your legs if you like for a bit more. Just keep those hips and butt high in the sky. Straighten up the back of the legs. Feel that nice tense stretch. Slowly coming over to one side. Elbow can be on the knee and a hand down. Just lunge it across. You've got a nice flat foot on the other side because you're stretching out this inner thigh. Keep lunging downwards. Slowly lift to center, other side. Across we go, bend over the knee, flat foot on the other side. Elbow on the knee and a hand down or both hands down, making it a bit deeper. Stretch it out because those muscles need that after this workout. And release, crawl those feet in. Let's do a quad stretch to stretch out those quads after all the squatting and lunging. Heel to butt, lift tall. Keep pulling inwards. Deep breath. Whew. Other side, quad stretch. Balance or hold on to something in your room. Lift tall. And down. One hand up, one hand down. Reach. Imagine you're being pulled in both directions. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now swap it through. Other hand up and down. Stretch through. Take one hand behind for a tricep stretch. After all those tricep 
push-ups. And release, other hand down between the shoulders for our tricep stretch. Release, let's look over to one side, up to our roof, over to the other side and down. And now slowly rotate the neck round. Roll it round very slow. As you reach the bottom, back the other way. Slow roll. We've got to loosen that neck off. We always have so much tension in our neck. Back to the bottom. Hold there, looking down. Now look all the way back. Up to the roof. Pin that hinge it back. Now over to one side. Back to the other side. Shrug the shoulders. And give yourselves a big clap. Well done. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much, Cassie. Enjoy the rest of the day. You too. Have a great day. See you soon in one week's time. Bye. Bye.